Yes, sir. Mr. Turbo, which room? Uh, that would be Mr. Albert Turbo of St. Louis? Yeah. He just checked in, 406. Thanks. Do you want me to call? Weighs a ton. Did you get it all? Everything you asked for. Here's his phone number and his address. I've been tailing him for a week. These are the places he hangs out. Mm. Is this it? That's it. When you're finished, Al, don't leave it around. It could be traced. Making them better than they did in the old days. Everything's improved, Al. Did you get the gadget? Yeah. It cost, Al. Even with connections, it cost plenty. You done good. You done real good. I also got a whole box of bullets. Did you get his picture? Yeah. That's the best I could do, Al. That's good. That's real good. Thanks, Al. It's been nine years, boy, but your papa's gonna collect for you. One more day, Diamond will be dead. Easy, Richard. I've got things to do in the morning. Well, this won't hurt you. Besides, the morning's a long time away. After this, we've got to have dinner. A very good idea. Got some steaks in the freezer. I'll bet you have. A restaurant, Richard, with a lot of people around. Uh, why is it that girls like you always want to go to restaurants? They're very crowded. Statistics prove that there are a lot of germs there. You can get colds, a flu, anything. I'll give you this. You don't quit easy. Uh, I got a wonderful idea. Now, if we leave about noon tomorrow, we can get in Las Vegas about seven, see a lot of wonderful shows. The show here's not bad. How about it? I can't, and you know it. I've got an appointment tomorrow afternoon, and I can't break it. Uh, uh, why not? Because it's important. Uh, that's the worst excuse I've ever heard. Richard, the telephone's ringing. I know, it's my fault. I paid the bill. Better get it. Richard. Hello. I want to talk to Diamond. Which one? Richard Diamond. This is Richard Diamond. The private detective. That's right. I'm going to kill you, Diamond. Yeah, well, you're doing that already. I mean it. I'm going to put a bullet right between your eyes. Look, how did you get to be first in line? You're going to have to wait your turn. 24 hours, Diamond. That's all you've got. Look, friend, you've got a problem. I've got a problem. Everybody's got a problem. Now go home and sleep it off. Yeah, he didn't even say goodbye. Is anything wrong? You know, somebody just said they were going to kill me. What? Yeah, the guy on the phone said he was going to shoot me. Well, that's ridiculous, because if I'm going to go, that's not going to be the way. You know? That's all, Richard. Dinner time.
funny way. Good morning, Mr. Diamond. I'm well, not Mr. Diamond. This is Kelly's pool hall with clothes. Go away. This is the last day for you, Diamond. Hey, are you the cook that called me last night? I telephoned. You said you were going to kill me? That's right. Well, you're not very funny. I'm not trying to be funny, Mr. Diamond. You've got until 8.30 this evening. Now, what does that mean? Would you walk into the living room, Mr. Diamond? What for? Just walk into the living room. Take the phone with you. It's important, Mr. Diamond. There's something I want you to see. Just a moment. Yes? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Abel, but this gentleman wants to see you. I'd like to have a look around your room. Why? I think somebody took a shot at me from your window. I told you when I rented this apartment, I was not a well man. I tried to explain to him, but he just won't listen. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Well... That's the only way I can get some rest. Come in and look around. I'm terribly sorry it's about this, right, Mr. It's Abel. all right, it's all right. Look, fella, I got a hangover and I'm not in the mood. Now, I'm only gonna ask you once. Why are you trying to kill me? Why am I... Oh, come, mister, you must be out of your mind. What? Call the police. Tell them to come up here and sweep the place out. You know what this means to me. Al, why don't you let me have it done? A phone call, that's all it'll take. One phone call. No. I want his head myself. Me. I want to pull the trigger. You had your chance this morning. No. I want to see him crawl first. I want him to know what's coming. I want him to cry and beg. I want to finish him off. I want to destroy him. Now, you get him out of jail, you understand? How? Figure it out. Bribe a cop, throw a bomb at his door. I'm not asking questions. I'm telling you. I want Diamond on the street. You all right, Al? Yeah, I'm all right. Get going. Don't worry, boy. We'll make it.
Why are you trying to kill me? I'm not. Well, then who is? Oh! I can't. I can't tell you. Hey, Joy, do you want to go on living? You won't kill me. You can get long odds on that bet, buddy. Come on. Where are you taking me? Where it's quiet. The police will get you. You know that, don't you? I'll get you. There's no difference, Joey. The police kill me, your friends kill me. It comes out the same. You're the only one who's got something to lose. Come on. guys that die for their buddies. What did he do that was so special makes you want to die for him? Turn right at the next light. Why? I'll take you to him. Where is it? Across the street. Maybe I can talk to him. Maybe I can convince him it wasn't your fault. What was my fault? The reason he wants to kill you. That's the whole thing. He got... What happened? He must have had a heart attack. Uh, he wasn't hit by a car. I saw him fall. Just all of a sudden, like, wham, and he was on the street. No, uh, that's what it was. I've seen it before. This man's been shot. Hey, there was a fellow with him. Where is he? You think he did it? Well, right now, mister, that's a problem between him and the police department. Now, don't touch him. Mr. Diamond, I've been trying to reach you. Hey, what's this all about? Did you get my little present? We're in the metal? I wanted you to know why you're going to die. Look, mister, I don't know you. And I don't know what this is all about. Why'd you send me a purple heart? To help you remember, I'll give you a date. As a man says, a date that will live. November 26, 1950. I suppose you have a reason for all this. You got a short memory. I also have the police after me. Your friend Joey Abel was shot this afternoon, but I don't suppose that comes as a big surprise to you. He was bringing you to me. I wasn't ready for the meeting. This is the only thing you're ready for is a mental ward. An hour, Mr. Diamond. And do me a favor. Try to run away like you did last time. Try to hide. <laughs> It's me, Mr. Day. Yeah, Sam, what's happened? There are a couple of messages. A man tried to reach you this afternoon. He wouldn't leave his name or number. I think he got me at home, Sam. Anything else? Sergeant Alden. What's he want? He wants you to come right down to the Hollywood Division. He said what? He didn't go into any detail. He said he wanted to talk to you about Joey Abel. Yeah, what'd you find out about him? Abel? That's right. He's from St. Louis. 
He has an arrest record back there for bootlegging, armed robbery, and suspicion of murder. He was a key member of the old Turbo organization. He's registered as an ex-convict. Hey, hold it, Sam. Sergeant Alden. Tell him I killed Joey Abel. Tell him I want to confess. Tell him he has to get to me in a hurry or I might not be able to. What? Never mind, Sam. Just do what I told you and do it quick. Right, Mr. Dean. Mr. Diamond. Who are you? I want you out of the car. Now, please. Mr. Diamond, I'm waiting. That won't be necessary. Are you Turbo? That's right. Walter's father. Walter's father? Is that what this is about? November 26, 1950, you walked away from him. You left him to die on a frozen garbage heap. We tried to get your son out of there. We were surrounded. There were soldiers all over the place. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. You were his sergeant. You were responsible. A kid. You left him to die. We were the same age. You were responsible for him. I told you we tried to get him out. How hard did you try? I got a hole on my side for the effort. And he's got a hole in Korea. Nine years. Nine years I've waited for this. Move to the ditch. Turn around, Mr. Diamond. I want to see your face when it happens. Want to beg, Mr. Diamond? I don't think it'll do any good. Big hero. No, I'm scared. I just don't think that begging is going to change anything. I'm wrong about your son. He died a hero. I wonder if he thinks it's worth it now. car? Hey, did you call an ambulance? Hey, don't do that. He might have a broken rib or something. Move him around like that, you might kill him. He's already dead. What'd you do, break his neck? He broke his heart. Well, it seems like we've done this before. Hello. Diamond? Uh-huh. This is Alden. Well, hello, this is Alden. How are you? We just got the report back from St. Louis. Yeah? Police back east check with Turbo's doctor. 
He told him the old man had a bad heart. Wasn't expected to live more than a couple of months. Well, maybe that's why he decided to get me after all those years. Yeah, probably. Anyway, you're off the hook. Ballistics show that Joey Abel was killed with the old man's rifle. As Sergeant, I hate to be the type of fellow that says I told you so, but I did, you know, and you wouldn't believe me. Now, you'll have to excuse me because I got more important things to attend to. Okay, hero. I'll see you around. The way it looks from here, I'm, uh, I'm afraid it'll still hold. What's that? Your luck. You're still the luckiest man alive. Maybe, Sergeant. Maybe. <laughs>